One of the reasons I've been delayed for about a month working on the 56 is I built a carport here out of the kit and then yesterday we picked up our new uh, 23 LSV that showed up at our dealership. So fantastic, uh, fantastic boat. Really excited to spend the summer in this thing and uh, should be a whole lot of fun. Got it off the road rotisserie, back on a lift, cleaned it all up, rotated the car, and now we're ready to cut the firewall out. Unfortunately, the rotisserie bolts to the firewall and we're cutting the firewall off, so that doesn't work. So what we're gonna do is uh, do all the fabrication here on the lift. And then once we get the Roadster Shop chassis, we'll roll it underneath and uh, figure out where the mounts here will go back to the firewall. We've got the mini tubs mostly welded in on both sides. A couple more spots here to hit. But uh, then it's a little bit of metal finishing. Uh, all the trunk here gets interior on it, so I don't have to worry about uh, making it look totally perfect on this. I've got a couple brackets here for the trunk hinge boxes I gotta weld up, a couple other front braces I gotta weld into the tubs. Uh, then hit it with some seam sealer primer and then move on to the front. You will get sparks on you at some point here. Okay, so what I want you to do is put the face shield on. Where do I do it? Okay, come over here. Closer, 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 closer. We're gonna tighten this all the way up here for you. Okay, is it on? Airbus. Let's cut. Um, let's cut down here. Just a, just a random spot down here, okay? Yeah. So step over here. Yeah. I'll put mine in the Hold it, and I'm going to guide your hand. Okay. Yeah. After my little helper helped me remove the fire, the chassis mounts off the firewall, um, I've got one Clico here holding in the firewall upside down. I kind of wanted to point this out. I didn't see any online tutorials about how to put all these things together. So um, it turns out this is a mirror image. It's the uh, same dimensions on both sides. So I found the center line, marked it, 
and attached it with the idea that I'm going to mark the on the inside. But before I did that, come under here and you'll see a couple of things. You see our holes for our master cylinder booster up here. You'll notice that where you won't be able to hit two of the holes. So what I'm going to have to do is scoot this thing to the right hand side by about an inch. So I've got material on the new firewall to hit the holes. Now we got our rough fit done. We've got a lot of mess here to clean up, a bad repair. It was just uh, screwed into place here. So obviously we're pulling the screws out, cleaning it all up, and clecoing it all back together. And I TIG weld it back up, metal finish it. Even though you won't see it, it'll be stronger and it'll be done right. And I've got to go clean up all the other flanges here. Get it all smooth and ready. And uh, then we may be able to tack it into place. All right, we got the firewall mock-up all done. And I could actually go ahead and tack it all in if I wanted to, but while the firewall is open, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the ring gear washer and wipers in, or at least mock them up and get any of the fabrication done while the firewall's out. should be a lot easier to do. And then the uh, air boxes down here in the uh, footwells, those are coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out and drill the spot welds out with the firewalls off to make it a lot easier myself and get the new patches welded up. So that's about it for... Uh, one day's worth of work. Um, clean all this mess up underneath there as well and clean up all the flanges all the way around so I should be able to weld on the front side and the back side. The uh, panel I got here was for a 57 instead of 56. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and just make a uh, filler strip there, rip it across the top, and when I take it all in and finish it up, you'll never even know it was uh, missing. So. Not bad. Firewall's all ready to weld in. Got the weld through primer in. Made a couple of panels to block off the air vents. And then we got our firewall all set. Weld through primer. Good to go. End of the day and we've got the firewall all tacked in. Broke out the TIG welder. A lot easier to do finish metal at work. I obviously have to make some patches across the top to fill in some of the gaps, so it's completely smooth. But uh, all in all, not too bad. I wanted to call out how I installed the Rustamod Haymaker unit, which is their biggest unit, with the uh, aftermarket firewall here from Hot Rod Dynamics. So obviously I didn't notch the front firewall to make it fit, but as you can see, there's almost zero clearance, even with this notched. So getting a standard stud doesn't really work. I didn't wanna build and have to make some brackets off the top section. So what I did was I studded the bottom over here and I put notches so it slides in place. And then on the bottom, I basically did the same, but this bracket here pivots on the top, so it swings into place and captures it with that little notch. So now we're secured, holds it up, and we are tucked in about as tight as we can get it with still getting access to the vents and giving enough spacing for everything else we need. So nice and tucked up underneath there. Once it's all back together, just like everything else, you'll never know it's there. In place, all adjusted. Ready to weld in. All right, I got the firewall just about done. Got my uh, bump out here for the EC unit. Got everything TIG welded up, ground smooth. Our, I did it, uh, steering column, swivel ball goes there. We're working on the dash here, starting to do the seams, welding up the uh, radio controls, 
I'm also going to weld up the glove box and the, uh, all the other stuff down there. So coming along, still waiting on the motor and chassis. Some of the parts are starting to arrive. Steering column, a few odd and ends, a bunch of brake uh, connections, um, a bunch of fuel lines and fuel connections and regulator and rain gear for the windshield wipers. Carl Vaporworks hooked us up with a uh, controller so we could do a returnless system. All kinds of good stuff coming in now. Bowler transmission showed up here the other day. They built me a high horsepower, high torque, four LED transmission um, with all the stuff that I need. They built me a custom uh, converter for it and shipped me everything, including the cooler here from CNR. Um, all the fluids, the computer, flex plate, um, just about everything I need is a uh, complete package. So, thank you, Bowler. Cost a pretty penny, but uh, should do everything that I needed to do.